Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Thursday's Trip With Me on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. <laughs> Got all three. Love it. Yes. Yes. We don't have a long video for you today. Only Good. 12 things. Welcome to the new people. Oh, hi. Because there's new people every day. It's awesome. It's been great. I forgot. Hi. Also, also welcome. hi, welcome. Shout out to James at My Boring Reseller Live. Yes. Hello, kitty buddy forever. Go he check out this, his channel. He saw this shirt in a haul that we did recently and was like, um, I need that in my size right now, please. If Thank you me. watch his videos, he has a Hello Kitty shirt on in his thumbnails. So we always think of him. I have loved Hello Kitty since I was a child. So he's got good taste. I'm there telling you, go. go check out his channel. He does a lot of what we do here. Mm -hmm. If you like us, you'll like him. Here we go. Let's go. Three Poshmarks, one Mercari, and eight Ebays. That's what we're working with today. Okay. We're trying to make a profit of $700 with 12 packages. What? How much? 700 because we are 400 behind about and we need to make 300 today we're trying to make 300 dollars a day profit that's the goal for 2023 bam let's do it all right let's let's go you want to start with the mercari or the poshmark mercari okay four seven three six just listed this baby this is going fedex smart post and it is a big one well that's good this is gonna need a new box anyway okay. we're gonna need a bigger box all right, just listed this. It was in the old death pile. Now, let me get the ticket. I would love to address a question we got yesterday. Okay. Somebody said, "Well, if the stuff from your death pile is selling, why are you donating it?" Well, uh -huh, this question. is a very good question. The stuff from our death pile is selling is the stuff we picked to list. There is other stuff in our death pile that would not sell because it doesn't have any sell-through rate. We looked for solds, there was none, so we're donating it. That's how we're going through and making sure that we're not listing crap. Yeah, and the menswear stuff that I got rid of was really dated stuff that I, I didn't think would sell. Uh, a lot of it was three-button pinstripe without a matching pair of pants. Um, Sorry. That kind of stuff. So I had no problems letting letting that go. I pulled... I pulled, I pulled and set aside the pieces that I thought would sell, and we listed those last night. So. Cool. Uh, and one of them sold. Yeah. Imagine that! Nice! You lift the stuff. Okay, let me tell you what this is. Yeah. I'm going to town lint rolling it because yes. it's black. This is Fox Racing. Now, I know this brand because I used to work at PacSun for a very long time, and we sold this brand. So I knew exactly what it was. I actually sold probably this exact coat when I worked there. This is a, it's a hoodie. It's a full zip hoodie, but it has faux shearling inside of it. So it's super warm. Yes. And it's called the Sasquatch hoodie. I know everything about this. I just know, I just know it. Sell it. But it was in our death pile. It was in our death pile because I couldn't find the exact one that it was. Even though I knew it was a Sasquatch. It's a Sasquatch because of this, this tag right ready, here. Ready? Bam. Small. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, this thing sold in one day for $60. Sweet, man. It was just sitting there, just waiting to be listed. But Amy had a mental block against it for some reason. So I gave it to April. She took a picture of it. I listed it. Does your 20... Tetris brain say this box will work? This is pretty big. You might have to, like, air. It, the, the size of the box doesn't matter with FedEx. It just has to be under three pounds. So why are you trying to squeeze it? Well, okay you know what I'm saying? Just, like... Like put it in a. Why stress only, myself out trying to? Don't stress yourself out. We only got twelve packages. We only got twelve packages. Dan's plumbing today, so oh. he's already stressed out by that. Yikes. A little stressy. A little stressy. I did uh, wash the crap out of this. There's still something on it. Because maybe that was one of the issues too. I washed it, and then it got in our laundry room. And does your laundry get mixed in with your reselling laundry? Because okay. mine does. Yeah, that's exactly what happened with that with that one. I, I think remember. it was sitting on our bathtub for a long time. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. what is this? I kept thinking it was yours, and then you kept being like, it's not mine. Yep. And then it got to the death pile stage. And we finally listed it. So Fox Racing does okay. There are certain pieces that do better than others, and this. The heavier pieces for the winter time do the best, in my opinion. There's also some collabs. This is the logo you're looking for. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're like, Amy, stop. I don't, I've never even heard of that in my life. Well, you'll see this logo out and about. It's a fox. 
And sometimes it says Fox Racing. Sometimes it says just Fox. And there you go. Okay. And I am just doing this till you make me stop. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. Do you need a bigger box or some over here? No, I have. I have the box. I was just trying to. Right. Cause if it is as large as you say, I don't know if I can fit it. It's not that large. It's just mailer. like a hoodie, you know, cause it's thicker. Yeah. It's thicker. I, w I really wanted to get a chance to go through, maybe this weekend, go through our poly mailers and organize them. Yes. Meaning our recycled poly mailers. We do recycle the ones we get from Amazon for our home purchases. Yeah. Like every once in a while we have to reorganize the boxes. We got to do it with the, the Amazon polys. <laughs> All right, so this sold for 60 on Mercari. I cross-list everything now, and I did not expect it to sell on Mercari, to be honest. Uh, I, I sold it as, um, it says, I don't have the title. I sold it as um, FedEx Smart Post, and you can ship up to three pounds for $7.99. The buyer pays $7.99. So I find with bigger stuff like this, it's a really great way. It's kind of like Poshmark. You can kind of use as big of a box as you need. And it just sucks that we have to go a little bit out of the way. Amy Lyons brought this up in the comments yesterday about going out of the way and that costing you more money. And that's true if you do have to go way out of the way. Luckily, all of our things are in a line. So when you go to the post office, basically you have to hit all these other places on, on the route. So it's okay. Like UPS store, we take our FedEx to Walgreens. You can take your FedEx Smart Post to, I think we figured this out the other day. Google it, your zip code, you put in FedEx Smart Post or whatever, FedEx drop off point, and then you can put in your zip code and it'll tell you the places nearest to your house. So that's helpful. You don't actually have to take it to like FedEx. I almost said Kinko's, y'all. Almost oh, did. Man. Almost did. What is it called now? FedEx. FedEx Office. Office. Y'all almost said Kinko's. You help me out here with the. I got you. Remember that time we were talking about this when I was in grad school? I was in grad school and I was old and everybody else was real young. And we were like, where's the Kinkos? And they were like, what's a Kinkos? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I didn't even know there wasn't a Kinkos anymore. All right. The next thing is from, oh, I need to move these. One moment, please. Sold on Poshmark. We have two of these. This is Neiman Marcus. And we talked about this on my headache day because I couldn't say the word Neiman Marcus. Remember it all too well. Yes. Okay. Uh, I told you that the Neiman Marcus... <laughs> the Neiman Marcus <laughs> brand sounds right. <laughs> Why can't I say this? <laughs> and it does. Cashmere in general without holes sells for us. And... Yeah. Um, I'm just going to show you. Sometimes it just says Neiman Marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't even focus this. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's kind of focus. You all get the point. I got a new phone. Oh, 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 oh. Neiman Marcus exclusive. There you go. This Come is a brown on. cashmere turtleneck sweater. I'm being very intentional. <laughs> And you really want to be careful with cashmere for holes, but also with lint rolling, because we have these, like, mega lint Super rollers. Super stickies, yeah. They're not good on cashmere. They no. actually bring pilling to the surface. I could sweater shave this a little bit, but we're just going to let someone else take care of that, huh? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What are you, friend? <laughs> what are you? What are you? We've discovered a little bit of uh, a schmutz. A schmutz. I think we're not okay. a hole. It's a schmutz. I okay. got it. I All got right. it. All right. We're we're in the clear. Okay. I don't know. I'm just checking everything. It's always with cashmere. You have to be super mindful because the moths. It's like their mm -hmm. delicacy. Mm. They just love it so much. Even if you don't have moths, you do have moths. <laughs> you think you don't, but you do. Uh huh. Oh, you do. Every estate so we go to. Oh my God, there's moth holes everywhere. So, okay, so we have two of the exact same, one of this sweater and- I'm trying to help. We also purchase cashmere, 
at the bins. Sure do. All the time. And it doesn't matter the brand. We have sold some wacko. What was the other one of them was like perceptions. The investments. Investments. <laughs> we don't care what it is. If it's cashmere, we buy it. I'm taking it. And we sold it. So we call it Bins Cash. Bins Cash. Bins Cash sells. This is not Bins Cash, but it did sell for forty dollars. I listed it yesterday, and so that it was an overnight sale. Love it. Very good. Whoa! Did you hear that? I did not. Was it like, clack 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 clack? Okay, so that's Poshmark. That's our first one on Poshmark. The next one is a complete and total. I think I'm gonna title this video like bangers because it's full of bangers this full is a of bangers. banger a banger is something that is just like the best <laughs> good money easy to list just like you get it you flip it quick this one's a surprising banger all right all right everybody pay attention i would have left this in a heartbeat two years ago really yeah oh yeah i think most resellers would have left this it's it's an art to wear kind of piece. It's a dress. I'm gonna give you all the hints before I show you what it is. It has it looks like you would buy it on vacation. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. It's got like some fish kind of things painted on it. The tag looks cheap, but at the estate sale where I got this, I looked this thing up and it was good. It was real good. Real good. We better get a lint roller with this because it's black. This thing, yeah. Look at this thing, okay? I, everyone left it. We got it on 46 cents because no one bought it. First of all, the the reason let me tell you all the factors that yeah, made me, me buy this. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh I bought this uh because the tag, you're never gonna be able to see this. It says blue fish. Blue fish is the I mean it is monochromatic. Oh yeah, you could do it. There you go. Blue fish. It was a heavyweight canvas. It has these side slit pockets. It was a maxi length and there's no slit in it. And you guys know I love a no slit maxi. That means that I can put modest in the title and I probably did. Uh, it has this belt in the back so you can, you know, scoosh it up. It's got this weird like tribal hand painted situation, okay? Nobody picked these up. There was a lot of them. Not a lot, like five. I got them all. This thing sold on Poshmark. We yes. need to we need to just a little bit just a little bit okay poshmark for a hundred and thirty five dollars okay poshmark all right okay this blue fish stuff is no joke we have people, a sushi restaurant here in dallas called Bluefish. people that love it love it love it love it and you will notice it right away because all the pieces look kind of like this and they all have like stenciling on it looks like somebody did it at home i swear it looks like my mom was like arts and crafts time amy let's Woo! go i got get us some paints. stencils <laughs> get your fabric paint yeah i mean it's it's really an interesting piece so it's worth looking up and uh the sell through rate chef's kiss i tell you <laughs> i got every single piece they had i was looking for more too we were there like right when they were closing you know the last day at an estate sale gets kind of crazy and i'm like damn look for stuff with stencils on it He's like, all right huh? what <laughs> stencils i can't tell you if everything with the stencil on it is good because that's probably a false statement all i can tell you is that the brand bluefish with stencils on it is fantastic paid 46 cents for this and turned it into 135 dollars that's incredible well minus 20 percent because poshmark takes a lot well yeah all right thank you for yeah, just... appeasing me with that this thing is gonna be heavy too i'm glad it's sold on posh because uh -huh. we can put it in whatever box we need to to make this happen oh there's also a stencil down here oh wait no no, no. i wanted to show you this all the bluefish stuff i have have a little patch like this Sorry, walk it in, walk it in, walk it in. I forgot about this. So if you don't have a tag and you see this this patch, it will also indicate that it's bluefish. I don't know what it says. Expression is the air, breathe, possibility, bluefish, 1997. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And now you know about bluefish. I'm excited to bring you guys that because you might find it where you are. We went <clears throat> to Myrtle Beach. We went shopping at the thrift stores there and they're much different than our thrift stores. Yes. There are some issues with thrifting there, and you might have these same issues where you thrift. One, the closest store to the Goodwill is the Kohl's, okay? 
Two, there's an outlet mall that's equally as close. Tanger Outlets. Three, it's a destination. So a lot of people don't live there full time. So a lot of the things that you're getting are things that are people are picking up and dropping off. So it'll be like, anyway, not great stuff. Not great. It was not great. That's all I can tell you. However, there are, it's an older community. So there were a lot of mature brands there. We did find J. Jill and Eileen Fisher a little bit, but this Bluefish from 1997 might pop up where you live, right? Because if, if you live in an older retirement age community, if that's the demographic where you live, this vintage stuff that's still worth good money could pop up. That's why I want you to know about it. Because people, even if you say, we don't have designer stuff in our thrifts, you don't need designer stuff to make a good living reselling, right? You just need to know those gems when you find them. Because when you find one bluefish, I bet you you're going to find three or four of them. Because somebody that loves that dress has it in many different colorways. I watched, I mean, literally, I picked them out of a woman's closet. <laughs> All four or five that I got. And there's one other brand. I'll wait till it sells and I'll let you know what it is but it's similar to Bluefish. Remember the other one? Um, kinda. I can't remember what it was called. I don't wanna make it up. So anyway, keep your eyes peeled for that. I was I was pretty impressed with that. All right, Bluefish labeled, ready to go. Okay, and then the last thing that sold on Poshmark were these Fry, uh, kinda like Chuck Taylors. Oh yeah. Uh, they have been, we have sold them once before. They were returned fit now they're selling on Poshmark and they can't be returned for fit hopefully we sold them on eBay the first time anyway they sold for fifty dollars bit of box new box maybe <clears throat> I have new yes I do have a new shoe box ticket for those because they were returned. So the OG ticket is long gone. I loved you guys. Some of you guys gave us really valuable feedback on packing breakables. Even though we're not trying to sell breakables, we still do every now and then. And there was invaluable feedback in the comments. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're all here to help one another. And that is helpful. All right. Oh, I didn't even show you. See, these, <laughs> these are Fry. This is the logo. Oh, nice. And these are like trucks. They're leather and they're Fry. And they're pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, something in these is smelling like an old lady perfume or something. I'm having an allergy issue. That's not good. Do you need to step in and take over? <clears throat> Woo! Do you smell this? It smells like perfume or something. No, man. It must have been the blue fish. <laughs> oh. Nice! Poshmark came through today! Yeah, it did. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> three, I would consider three bangers. And Marcario banger. Boom! I think all those are bangers. Anything over like 40 bucks is a banger. <laughs> all right. All right. <clears throat> eBay. Here we go, eBay. eBay. We listed this last night. What is it? We live listed it. What so is you it? were there. It's the Laurel Piana Fabric yes. Men's. Size 40 long, sport coat, super 130s, Tasmanian wool, navy blue. Yes. This was one of the things in the death pile that we did decide to list because you guys know we love Laurel Piana but we didn't know how to list it. We knew it was Laura Piana fabric, but we didn't know if it was Laura Piana mainline or whatever. So we just wrote Laura Piana fabric and priced it to move. <clears throat> and um, maybe Dan will show you the tag on it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, accessible. Did, we, did we give away a really good piece for a great deal? Possibly, care. probably, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I don't care, it was in our I don't care pile. either, I don't care. 
It could have easily gotten donated and it didn't. There you go. And then it's got the, the white tag on the inside. There you go. All right. So that sold for $80 plus $12.99 shipping. And it's going to Georgia, which is great. We can use a regional box. Hope somebody really loves it. I, I think mean, someone's going to love it. It's nice. <laughs> it is. And it's $80 nice to us. And we have $2.99 into it. I'm happy with us a banger. Right? For sure. Not everything is a banger, but there are a few more bangers. We got some pingers in here, but oh, pinger. one of them was one of the oldest things in our inventory. So <laughs> when the offer came through, I'm like, bam. Get it out of here. You could have offered me two wooden nickels for that and I would have taken it. <laughs> I would have taken it. You know when something's that old? I have a couple of those coming up. We got a couple that old? Oh, man. No, just one that old, but another one that I probably would have taken anything. <laughs> oh, we didn't pull the thing in Bill. Oh, no. Oh, we didn't. Oh, no. Is this Bill? I don't even know if it's in Bill. We're looking at our plush. Uh, oh, Bill. No, Bill is this one over there. Is the it? Far one. Yeah. There's a vintage Dakin in that. We're going to try to get. Uh, I'll go get it. Use the grabber. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can reach the grabber. I have to try. Okay. All right. Next, another absolute and utter banger. Woohoo. Okay, here we go. You guys remember when I bought all the cloth at the Goodwill bins? Yes. Never overlook the linens at the bins. True statement. This is pool table cloth, and I bought five or six big chunks of pieces of this. Huge pieces of fabric. Dan was so great and figured out what they were. All I knew was good fabric. I was like, Dan, this is worth money. Get it all. And we got it all. <laughs> he's so good at the bins. If I tell him to get something, he's on it. <laughs> he's combing every bin. Comb it. It's like, I found more of that. I thought it was menswear fabric, to be honest. But this is pool table felt. It's by a brand called Simonis. We have um, sold three pieces of this so far. I think this is the fourth, maybe. Not sure. Uh, quite possibly, yeah. And I think we have a couple more pieces still to list, some remnants. I think there's only one. One remnant to list. Anyway, what you what you came to know and want to know is that it sold for $145 for this piece of fabric. Yes. That we got at the bin. So we have like $2 into it at the most. So great. So great. Yes. This is, this is apparently the preferred felt for pool tables is preferred oh and this is how we knew what it was because this one piece the other ones didn't have this but this one did it had exactly what it was so i'm i'm real sorry i'm trying to focus i'm i'm trying simonis is the brand and then it told us this was the 860 which is a really nice one and uh we didn't see this at the bins i didn't see this tag did you see this tag because we could have looked it up. I don't think so. I think we didn't see this tag. I think it was folded inside. And then when we were unfolding it and looking at it, like, what is this? Which I'm really surprised the stuff didn't death pile too. Because <laughs> yeah. if we didn't know what it was, oh, okay. when we were baby resellers, it would have just gone in a corner. It would have it death piled so fast. It would have been like, ah. But anyway, instead, we made almost $1,000 off this, I don't know, $20 investment. That's Hello. Awesome. Yes, and this is going to Missouri, so a regional box would be preferred. Uh, it's going fourteen ninety nine standard, so we can ship at UPS. I think a regional box would be preferred. You I think, think it will fit? be cheaper. I do. Really? I do. Really? I, 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 have, one. I have one. You have one. I. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Okay. Right, okay. Right, oh. Let's see. Let's do a little. Because I think it's cheaper and faster. So let's, here, put that, put that baby in here. Why are you so more nervous? It's just fabric. Can't you just fold it like a little smaller? Like a little thinner, I mean? No, it's really like, it's... You say no? I say no. Yeah, I don't think so. I, because I would have to unfold it a lot of the way to like yeah. try to get it smaller. And it's, it's a very, very large and cumbersome piece of fabric. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I still think a reach would be cheaper. 
I mean, we can check the priority mail rate versus the UPS rate once. Yeah, because that would definitely fit in a shoebox for sure. Or in a 1097, uh, 1092. I don't know. I don't know either, but it's pretty hefty. Oh. oh. I don't feel okay with about that. I'm nervous about that. Yeah? <coughs> what? You mean the box blew up? Huh? Well, it just reinforce it. <laughs> it's completely blown out. <laughs> it's not completely. Oh, wow. Well. Not completely. Oh, wow. Okay, stop. What's happening? Spam. Always spam calls. Get away, you spammers. All right, so that's amazing. Next thing we have to grab, so I'm going to skip it for now. Okay, here's the oldest thing ever. Oh, man, oldest thing ever. We used to store all of our clothing in these Tyvek envelopes from the Postal Service because we only used to do Poshmark. What? So we would ship in the, what we stored it in. Man, that was so long ago. It was very long ago, and I just want to show you this. And this is a funny comparison, too. <laughs> this is a nice sweater. I don't know why it took so long to sell. It's probably the pictures, to, if it really is. We used to, instead of tickets, this is why we switched to a ticket system. We used to hand write all this stuff on these little tags. Oh my God, how inefficient. And you guys are like, why do you do receipts? It's so inefficient. Talk about inefficient, this was. And we just need some kind of like, tangible thing both of us need a tangible thing that says this item sold put it in a spreadsheet if the, if you work well with spreadsheets we do not work well with spreadsheets so we need like a thing i need a stack of things to mark off in vendo okay ready i'm ready wow four pounds and 10 ounces so we're just gonna go uh okay 4.10 hold on 4.10 okay mm -hmm. 11 and a half Nine, five. All right, and then the Laura Piana is in a what? Regional A. Regional A. Okay, anyway, this Polo Ralph Lauren, size extra large, I mean, it's fine, whatever. Pullover sweater, sold for $10. We've had it listed since 2019. The offer came through. I just relisted this, yeah. and the offer came through for ten, and I relisted it for nineteen ninety five. She couldn't click like, it except fast enough. I was like, <laughs> I don't even care what it is. <laughs> You're taking this home, and I'm very happy that someone's going to get use out of it. It's a nice sweater. It's going to California, and we probably didn't charge enough shipping. Probably not. No oh, wait, no, it feels light, light, yeah. lighter than I thought. We charged eight ninety nine, so I'm going to have to shove it into. Oh, a it is over a pound. Okay. Oh, it's because I, no, no, it's ish. because I just relisted it. Of course I changed it. Okay. But back in the day, we wouldn't have done that, right? Because <laughs> we were shipping on Poshmark. So all when we went over to eBay, which a lot of you watching probably are making this journey or have made it, you have to go, because on Poshmark, we don't weigh anything. So you have to go back and like cross-reference your listings if you're going to cross them to eBay and make sure you have enough ship shipping. And we had like a thousand listings when we started eBay. So we weren't going to go weigh a thousand things. Yeesh. So a lot of our earlier stuff we guessed. <laughs> Sometimes we guessed wrong. We were not good. <laughs> we don't normally guess wrong now. And we have a scale, so we weigh things. Pretty much everything. Anyway, if you're going through that, we feel your pain. There we go. We did it too. If it'll fit into one of these bags, it'll fit into a padded flat rate. There you have it. Very happy that this is getting a new home. Gosh. Padded flat rate envelope. Okay, the funny thing is, the next thing that's sold is a Build-A-Bear shirt. <laughs> and it's sold for more than that Ralph Lauren sweater. No, yes. get out of here. This Build-A-Bear shirt, just the shirt... It's new with tags, sold for twelve dollars. So like a shirt for a builder bear. It's an Olaf shirt. <laughs> it's like a Hawaiian Magnum PI style shirt for a frozen builder bear bear. Oh my god, I love it so this much. This thing sold for twelve and that <laughs> thing sold for ten. You gotta love e-commerce, uh. right? <laughs> 
Anyway, Build-A-Bear clothes can go for a lot of money if you can find them, especially new with tags. That's crazy. I would look them up. All right, can I have the little bag? Thank you. Can't believe that, right? Oh, that's, that's hilarious. All right, next is some Soft Surroundings pants. Soft Surrounding black leggings. Pull on leggings, elastic waist, stretch pants. They sold for $26.95. We have 46 cents into them. And I looked yesterday, and on that plus size haul, we listed 300 things approximately, and over 100 have sold already. So mm -hmm. a third of the stuff has sold in less than 30 days. That's awesome. Yeah, really, really good pickup. $26.95 is great, even with the fees, you know? It's still, it's still great. It was on the bag. Of course it was. What? 99 cents. There you go. Were you looking for that and it was in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Two yeah. ounces. Two ounces. He was trying to play cool. Did you see that? Like, totally trying to. Was like, he was like, where's about? the ticket? Where's yeah, the ticket? It was in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me with my glasses when I was a teacher. Everyone would be like, they're on your head. Oh my God. Dang it. <laughs> All right. So twenty six ninety five on those. I'll just jump to this since it's right here. This top is gorgeous, and we had a troll on Poshmark over this top. Stop. We did. The $8 lady. Oh, $8 lady. She, she just keeps offering $8 for this shirt, and we were not having it. So it's a really pretty Zara shirt. We don't sell a ton of Zara, but when we do, it looks like this. It's like super boho. You can see it has a chartreuse velvet trim on it. Velvet, that's beautiful. <laughs> button front it's a patchwork floral right, ditzy design and anyway it's just a top and it sold for 17 on ebay yes 11 ounces for those so now we don't have to deal with a dollar girl no ticket what no ticket really really that's a falling off probably probably in a box that's okay All right, and did I have a ticket? I'm like checking my Final item that sold on eBay besides the one we have to grab is an absolute banger again. This is a sport coat. Yeah, man. I'm gonna let Dan tell you about it. Uh-oh. So we sold two sport coats today. Two banger sport coats. Yes. That's good. Come on now. There you go. Six ounces. Yes, this is a Brioni. This is super, super nice. Very high end piece of menswear. If you can find this, this is a, a newer style too. If you can find this at your, happen to run into one of those, I highly recommend picking it up. These are worth big, big money. Not as much as they used to for some reason. Because this was listed around what? 350 350 bucks, I think. Yeah. We got an offer yesterday for 200 Could not click except fast yes. enough. Yes. Sold. This was sold through the Global Shipping Program. Yes, GSP. We still have it. Yep. They are rolling out a new version of GSP. We have not gotten that yet. This is going to Kentucky. I know you're going to say in the comments that it doesn't exist. It exists. Still exists. For some of us, it still exists. And we are still on the old GSP program. And yeah, it's going to Airport believe, Exchange Boulevard. I believe it's going to Canada. In Erlanger, Kentucky. I think it's going to Canada. Okay. Quebec, maybe? Brioni, 46 long, US 56 long, Italian Colosse Col Colosseo. Sure. Re <laughs> Bless you. Recent light brown wool sport coat classic fit. That was the title, and if you know that it's recent in sport coat land, putting the word recent... It helps a lot. It does, because a lot of sport coats, the styles don't change that drastically, but some people want a recent versus a vintage, and saying that it's recent ups the value a lot. Don't put it if it's not. Don't do it. Don't lie about it. Right. Is it regional A? Yes, it is. Okay, now you've got to perform some gymnastics and get this vintage taken. Oh, okay, all right. 
Mm -hmm. I think it's in Bill, but you might want to check Vendu. Sure. What does Vendu have to say? Let's check Vendu first. Oh, uh, yeah, check Vendu first. What is it? A Dakin what? It's a Dakin... Hold on. Teddy bear, made in Korea, 1985. That should be helpful. The one with the big paws? Big paws. <laughs> <laughs> it says bear, big, big, big brown, brown nose. nose, and paws. Yeah, yeah this says Bill. Okay. So we were um, just talking about vintage Jacob in the live last night, and right as we were talking about this sold. It's crazy. Similar to how when you touch things, they sell. Sometimes oh. when you... When you talk about things, they will sell. I'm packaging up the, uh, oh, what is this? Oh. So this needs to go to UPS. Is it okay if I put it in the same? Oh, I just hit the ring light. Sorry. Hi. Oh. Yeah, I'll figure it out. The one that goes to FedEx, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, I remember cleaning him up. He's so cute. <laughs> Big nose and paws. I'm trying to find the other. So I have one, two, three. There's this supposed, is the, oh, that's the last the, one. The All right, here, I'm in that one. I'm trying to get these out of the way. Get them out of here. So I say it every day, but just so you know, the scan form from eBay. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have to put the, the GSP in here or not? GSP? No, so that should be on the same one. So the scan form doesn't, you know, include Poshmark and Macari, obviously. So I have to put it in a separate bag. I always try to pick something different than an Ikea bag so that Dan can just hand it to the lady. He doesn't have to scan all that. Okay, so I remember cleaning this guy up because his nose got all dusty, and now it's dusty again. Perfect. All right, he needs a, uh, what? Where's he going? A box? He is going to Wyoming, and oh, I'm charged first class. I, he is first class. Is he first class? Very light. Yeah. Hey, all right. can you go? Can you fit in one of these? Yeah. You I think he's way much bigger than he is. Oh, let me show them the vintage. Yeah, Dakin yeah, tag. yeah. This is my favorite Dakin tag. It's from the '80s blue and yellow and then on the other side it will show you the year which makes listing it very easy <laughs> 1985. look at this little guy look how big his nose is compared to his eyes i love him <laughs> okay i gotta give him a hug all right going in guys yeah He sold for $20.66. It's great. And we got him at the bins. And more than likely, this is going to end up making somebody's day. Oh, yeah. We've been getting a lot of messages recently about... Sorry. Ten. About how I used to have this one as a kid. I'm so glad. We've been getting this. All those messages are the best. That's the best thing about selling plush, for sure. All right. Okay. Dan's going to refresh. Yes. <laughs> Always. I'm going to get my Ikea bag ready. The, the the banger ratio <laughs> i think we might be close to old, getting goal the old b over p banger to pinger ratio <laughs> yes <laughs> this is a technical term in case you were wondering i think we might be there so you're gonna have to stay tuned to see we've never had a goal this high in our life it's like feels out of reach but i just Tell been like it's that high it's that high so that we can make six figures and profit at the end of the year. But the day, the day, the reason the daily is at 700 is so that'll, if we make 700 in profit today, that'll catch us up to our goal of 300 a yeah. day 
at, to this point in the month. Three hundred dollars profit a day for us Jeez. is huge. It feels insurmountable. Like we're never gonna be able to make three hundred dollars a day. You don't until you make yourself do it. Like I am listing like a crazy person all day long. <laughs> I, I listed 17 today and cross-listed all of them and then cross-listed what we did last night and then I relisted a ton. So, and that's just in the day. We're still listing tonight too. Ah. And it will catch up. I told you guys yesterday, there's a lag. We will, and so yesterday it was like, oh. ah. Yesterday it was like 10, then 11, then 12. Hopefully we start coming every single day on here with 20. That's what we need. 20 solds every single day. Then if you have 20 solds, 300 in profit isn't that hard, right? If you have that kind of volume. But our eBay, last night, I woke up six. Six <laughs> offers to send out since the live till last night live and overnight, nothing. And then all day today, nothing. I sent out six offers this morning and there's nothing to send out all day today. Yeah, that, we are that's... not in the eBay throws right now. Yeah. I mean, Cross all of this stuff. Online. No, all the stuff that sold, sold yesterday. We haven't sold anything today. It just comes and goes. You got to take it when it's there. That's why I'm like taking all the offers. Because <laughs> you never know when the eBay faucet will turn off. I know that they're rotating servers. I do know that. We are on, We are not in the rotation right now. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. We're starting with the Laura Piana Sport Coat in the original A. 47.59. Yes. Yes. Go. Okay. Next up is the Simonis Billiard. And what did you go with? Ball. eBay? I what? what did you go with it? Po postal Probably postal service postal service how much was it less than you think nine dollars and fifteen cents there you go postal service awesome could it be the magical cubic i don't even though it doesn't say i don't know oh this person has an excellent name the dakin bear i know that's what i know <laughs> i love it dakin bear yeah, what are we doing Oh, if we go a little faster, you can make our post office. Okay. This is Ralph Lauren Carter, also an excellent name. Oh, so glad. Goodbye. Sweater. We love you. Go to your new home. Prosper. Bring someone joy. Build a bear shirt. Hey. Get Easy there, killer. Soft surroundings, leggings. Uh, the Brioni. I <laughs> love how you announce these. I'm on a game show. You want a Brioni. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, you know, we watched the Price Right <laughs> documentary. Seriously, we did. Yeah. Uh, the Zara. That's it? That's it. All right, he's out of here. I'm out of here. Gonna make it to our post office so he doesn't have to drive across town. Woo See ya in a minute. Bye. Profit number is coming up. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> That's it? That's all you got? What are you even doing? Why are you like this? Oh, here comes your sit. Oh, oh no. Here she comes. Oh, you too? You guys already know, you see the camera and you know it's tree time? Yeah? Are you so excited? Is it your favorite time of the day ever? Oh my God, picnic. You can't even deal. You guys get an extra one today. Here you go. See you guys in a minute. We're real close. 
How close are we? Okay. I, I'm a mess here. Okay. We had $856 in revenue and $608 oh, in profit. Oh, man. Okay, that okay. is close. It's really close. Um, and then I wanted to show you month to date. We should have 1500 because it's the 5th of January. Mm -hmm. And we're at 1414 <laughs> Okay. So we're super catching up. That's... Wow. So tomorrow we need to do 385 to catch up and hopefully we can do that. And if we don't, it's okay. I just wanted to show you guys that yeah. we were down for four days in a row and we're like, oh, maybe we should just lower our goal. We could have been like that, right? <laughs> but instead we're like, no, because one day can change everything. Especially if you have an inventory full of long tail items like we do, three and $400 pieces, we've got hundreds of them. This is what I'm saying. So you sell one of those, and all of a sudden you're back in the game. I, I see what you're saying. Right? We I sold a Brioni today. I wanted to tell you guys the profit. And this is important. So on the Laurel Piana suit, we made sixty-one sixty-four profit. Nice. Uh, on the jacket, I'm right. sorry. That we listed last night. Uh, on the pool table cloth, we made $118.99 in profit. Very awesome. The Dakin Bear, we made $13.09 in profit. The polo sweater, we made $5.01 in profit. The Build-A-Bear, we made $9.57 <laughs> profit. The black leggings from South Surroundings, we made $18.24 in profit. The Brioni uh, suit, we made $169.58 in profit. Yes. The Zara Boho top, we made $13.62 <clears throat> in profit. The Fox Racing jacket, we made $51.75 in profit. Very nice. The Neiman Marcus sweater, we made twenty twenty eight in profit. We actually paid $10 for that. The blue fish dress, we made $105.82 in profit. Awesome. And the fry shoes, we actually paid more than this, and I had the real number in there. We only made twenty one thirty seven on those. Okay. But I wanted to just give you the quick lowdown here. One. Not that one. Two, I did this one, three, four, not that one out. Four of them sold in less than 24 hours. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's really good. Whether it was I relisted them or they were brand new listings. So four of the 12. And that's where we're aiming to be. So when I'm relisting, I'm doing it with the idea that I want to get this sold right now. So I'm lowering the price and putting in the specifics. Anything I can do to be like, someone who needs this needs to buy it right now. Because that's when your listing is most juicy <laughs> your listing gets the most attention when it's first listed right, right. whether it's relisted or um ah, fresh listing yeah and so i want to try to get it sold in 24 hours so sure. the fact that a quarter yeah. am i mathing right yeah you were mathing correct okay a quarter of the things that we sold today no four out of 12 a third a third of the things sold in less than 24 hours that's fantastic yes it is Keep going for that. Do, yes. do more of that. Yes, more of that. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live listing on the other channel, which is linked down in the description below. Come hang out. Bye. Bye. Bye.